You and I take upwards of 26,000 breaths per day. And where and how we breathe is gonna have direct implications on the level of stress that we may be experiencing, as well as the muscular tension that we may or may not have in our body. So in this video, I wanted to go over how to actually breathe properly. How do we actually access our diaphragm and how do we breathe accordingly? We're gonna get into the specifics and nuances of that in a way that I haven't covered in any other videos up until this point. And we've done a lot of videos on breathing. So stay tuned and let's jump into it. So one of the first things I go through when I'm teaching people how to properly breathe through their diaphragm is giving them an idea as to how to breathe into resistance. I call this the wall of resistance. And it's something that we can internally create more or less on the front side or anterior side of our abdomen. And it creates a area for us to breathe into. So pressure can ideally get dispersed in a cylindrical or 360 degree fashion. A way that you can kind of test this yourself just to see where you're at is to just get on your back, put your hand on your belly or maybe on your sides a little bit and just take five to eight breaths, just about a five second inhale, to a five second exhale, just to give yourself an idea as to where you're already sending pressure into. Once you've gone through that baseline assessment and you can kind of feel more or less where pressure is getting sent, we're gonna to start to build this wall of resistance. Now, what this is going to look like is you're gonna come onto your back. You can also do this seated like I am here. And I'll give you a view of my belly. And what I see a lot of the time when people are going through a diaphragmatic or a belly breath is they breathe primarily into their abdomen. They're sending almost an excess of pressure anteriorly. So if they take an inhale, everything kind of just gets shot out this way. And then when they exhale, everything kind of drops. So a very common postural pattern that you'll see is people kind of in this rounded or kyphotic position with the stomach kind of slightly distended. So what is actually happening here is aspects of the rib cage and the, really the relationship between how a rib cage and pelvis work with one another isn't working as efficiently as it should. So what I like to think about is first building a baseline of pressure into the abdominal wall and then thinking of that as almost a the initial layer to where we want to build pressure from. So we want to kind of start with stacking pressure into the abdominal wall, and then we can start to come up into the rib cage. So what this is actually going to look like in practice is, again, you can do this seated, you can do this standing just to kind of test for yourself. You're going to take just a small inhale, so take an inhale, and then you're going to exhale, exhale all the air out. And I want you to think you're gonna squeeze your abs or almost think about squeezing your intestines and your guts just a little bit. So you're gonna exhale and you're gonna feel some resistance and some pressure there. Now the idea is we should be able to go into an inhalation against that resistance. And you're trying to disperse pressure in a cylindrical fashion. So pressure is getting sent kind of against that imaginary wall, and then air is getting sent out laterally as well as posteriorly into areas around your lower back. Now, once you have a feel for this pressure and this idea of kind of breathing into resistance, what I want you to think about is building kind of the first layer into the abdomen, and then starting to walk pressure up into your rib cage. So the inhalation is gonna more or less start through the abdomen. You're gonna kind of fill everything out. You'll may, you may even feel your hands kind of separate or the palms move away from one another. And then as you're continuing to go through the breath, think about almost internalizing the breath or starting it from a central place. And we're gonna to try to get some level of expansion through the rib cage. So ideally, as we work through this breath, there's kind of a fullness of the breath that starts against this resistance, it gets sent out in a 360 degree fashion. It kind of finishes in our rib cage. And now we're in a full inhalation and we're in a full state of expansion. Now, once we're in this state of expansion, what you can start to practice is almost maintaining a little bit of this pressure as you go into the exhale. So it's almost as if we're not letting all the air or all the pressure go. We're gonna keep little aspects of that pressure 
And when we come back into the inhalation, we can actually start to create more space or more expansion as we go through. Now, this is the very basic way in which we can actually start to access our diaphragm, as well as access different core musculature to create stability through really our spine, our abdomen, and start to get access to things like our obliques and other aspects of our core musculature. So as basic as this concept might be, what we can think about is not only practicing this exercise consciously, but also taking aspects of kind of this pressure sequence and this wall of resistance concept and starting to apply it into different exercises. So as an example, if I'm gonna go through a rotational lunge, I can think about keeping some level of integrity and pressure in my body as I work through that motion. The same thing might apply to when I go through a push-up or a dumbbell press or a cable row. There's a lot of different ways in which we can access this, but really it's the concept that kind of has the power here. Because the more that we can access that concept and apply it to our training, ultimately the more unconscious this pattern is going to become over time. And at the end of the day, that is why we train, so that we can start to train these more unconscious patterns in a conscious way. And that way, when we go to do any type of sport or any type of motion that we might, we might find ourselves doing, such as opening a door, picking our child up, reaching for something overhead, these kind of little internal pressures are already taking care of themselves. So do this either in a seated position or you can do it on your back and just get used to this wall of resistance and kind of breathing into these different compartments. And I promise you, the more that you can start to breathe into these different areas and access different musculature, ultimately the more economical and the more stability you're gonna have intrinsically in your body. So give this concept a shot. And if you like this video, you can make sure to like, as well as subscribe to the channel for more future content like this in the future. Until next time, make sure you are prioritizing and then you are optimizing for you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.